How you doing folks? Airbrusher here. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'm no longer in my Borsig. I now have the Tier 9 WT Panzer IV TD. And uh, currently I have uh, everything but the Tier 2 guns of this. The, the next you know, two, two guns that are unlockable. So I still have the first same two guns that I had from the Borsig. And I'm finding out that this uh, 15 centimeter gun is not half bad on this TD, where on the Borsig it was suicide. At least it was to me. I died when I used it. I still die when I use it on this here, but um, I tend to take a couple with me. And uh, a lot of people play this TD very passively. They stay very back, very, sorry, very back, very far back, and and shoot in. Where for some reason I don't know, it's just kind of how I've been doing it. Um, I've been up front, so I get hit a lot. Um, but I hit things a lot. I think the reason I'm going up front so much is I'm I'm so worried about the the aim of this uh, gun that I, I tend to be closer and so that uh, T-54 just unloaded on me and I weathered the storm barely um, but I come around the corner and I'm like oh crap look at that <laughs> so I, I plugged the IS-3 I went right through the front of his turret that was just beautiful uh, no complaints there. Um, I really enjoyed it. And it's just what this gun will do, you know. And uh, that makes it just a lot of fun for me. So, um, I plug that guy again. And I really can't take any more hits. And, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do here in a second. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, kaboom. So now we're on, and we won. That team was horrible, horrible, and somehow we won. I just wanted to show that when it's bad, you can still win, even though I went out early. But this game is much longer and much more different. And uh, spoiler alert, uh, we lose and I die at the end. <laughs> but uh, I feel I make them earn it, so... I'm not too ashamed of that. And I did a lot of damage in this game. It felt really good. And so this uh, TD is really good along the tracks. Um, because it's speed though, for some reason I lag right there. So I'm kind of like, whoa, turn, turn. Uh, the speed of this uh, TD is not, you know, T71 fast. But it's not, you know... T30 slow either. So, and I'm not even going to go in here like the T28 and the T95. I mean, those things are just, you yeah, know, Doom Turtle, forget it. Uh, so, this thing is no slouch. So, I have to be careful because I, so I'm faster than some heavies who I kind of have to depend on because I got, you know, I really want to shoot around them. So, their armor absorbs the hits coming in for me. And um, it allowed me to use my huge gun to its fullest effect. And so I am, so I'm kind of, I'm really into the the speed zone of the mediums. So I got to be really careful how I go about this. So I just, you know, sometimes I got to stop and let let him catch up. And yeah, it just feels so good when that thing clunks. And there's other games that I've had where I've hit for like high 800 with this thing and uh, it says the, the damage is 750 so it's real fun when you get through all of that armor and just clonk something and I'm using armor piercing um, I use almost all armor piercing all the time um, with high explosives if I gotta reset the cap and um, whatever I think it's heat that this thing fires for premium don't remember Anyways, um, for, you know, the E-100s and stuff that I'll come across. But mostly I fire um, the big old 15 centimeter armor piercing round. 
Almost got him. Almost, almost. There he is. There he is now. Just a little too slow. So there's this KV-3 and whoa. I almost became a submarine. So I'm like, okay, let's see how I do against this KV-3 up here. So we're going to scoot up on him. And uh, I'm like, where is this guy? <laughs> I'm kind of scared here because I'm like, you know, it's a KV-3. It's not like, you know, not like we're hiding a little tiny itty bitty Cunningham here. Um, it's a big old heavy tank. Where the hell did it go? And what I forgot is right in here there's a dip. There's a divot in the terrain. And as you'll see as I'm, I'm coming up, um, it's right, just kind of right up over here. And I'll dip down and there's the KV-3. But at this moment, um, I'm looking at these other guys because I'm coming up on them. And, oh, yes, yes. Oh, just, this gun, when it works, is so good. But man, does it troll you. Oh, there's other games where it's like, are you serious? Yeah, I'm like 35 meters from the target, and I miss. With <laughs> its center, dead, you know, dead center mass. And this guy, I don't know, runs into me. Of course, I like, you know, shoot like it freaking made me fart out something. But I was trying to to tag the map up north. You see where we're losing it there. So I'm watching that, and I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm going back. I got the speed, and I got the gun. If I can stay alive, I got what I need to handle that. And this would be a real nice shot. Um, waiting, but nope, I don't aim fast enough. And at this point, I do not have my suspension on it. This is one of the first games I played in it. So I, uh, I have the upgraded engine and upgraded radio from the Borsig. But uh, I'm earning the suspension here, so I do not have um, a gun lane drive or a rammer or binoculars on this thing yet. They, they came like two or three games after this. So I'm equipped now, but in this game now I'm, I'm a little bit above stock. So here we go. I'm running back to base and here's the T-28. And I'm like, oh, he's going to be a good one to have with us. Yeah. So you know, I start pushing him and uh, for some reason he says, no, I'm going to just sit here. I go, okay, dude, um, I hope you realize that they have forces on either side of you going back to their cap and coming to ours, so you're in between them, and you're in a slow-ass T-28, and you're by yourself, so lots of luck to you. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. And the T-30 is already back here, smart guy. So he takes care of that little tiny shit. There's a 1390 that was there. So blew his ass up, which is good. We really need to get him out of there because as long as he's spotting us, we don't have any kind of any kind of recourse to go. And this is so nice. Boom! Oh, Goodbye, honey. Oh, I love this gun when it works. Oh, it's just so nice. So I'm not really talking with a T30 here. Um, basically what I'm doing is um, I'm thinking most of those tanks are headed for their cap for the defense. I don't know why I'm thinking that because it makes sense that they all kind of come down to our cap to, to cap, right? But I don't know, I'm, I'm a little screwed up in the head. So I'm just thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop out, defend why those guys defend their their cap. And then when they come up along the tracks, we're ready for them. And it's not too far from what happened, you'll see. Um, but not entirely, because that's not where I die from. <laughs> and so I move up, and the T-30 sees me moving. And um, kudos to him for um, seeing how I'm going. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm just looking around at the, the terrain. I'm looking at the cover. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to sit. So I'm like... Now I'm going to go over to the other side because this is a low tank. I could just handle it over here. So I'm going to let him get situated. And I'm going to turn around. 
and kind of just get ready for whatever is going to happen. And so I, I skipped forward because there was several minutes. And there comes the artillery. And if the artillery can see us, that means we're spotted. I do not have six cents yet. That's coming right up. I'm like, okay. So there's these guys. And one of the things I did in the cut that you didn't see is I moved up here before they came to see where I can move up to to park to drop the gun. And I don't realize if that shot came from behind me yet. It is not making sense. I'm like, what the hell? How are they shooting through like through the through the terrain? What's going on here? And I thought, well, it's them guys, and it just whoa, there was a shot. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> And so um, I plugged the shot there. Totally donk it, miss it, because I panicked. And I see this guy, so I'm just trying to get out of his way. Just get out of the way of his gun. Just get out of the way of his gun. Just barely. Just barely. So he hits me, and boom, goodbye. So now it's all me. All me wrong player guys to have is the last one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Please, you know. Oh, uh, well, here we go. I'm dead. So that's it, folks. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you back soon. Have a great day. Bye.